Uh, tell me about yourself. Hi, I'm Wonder Woman. What do you like to do in your spare time? Fight the bad guys. Welcome to Making Winter Wonder Woman Part 3. If you remember from last time, we turned Lorinda into a duct tape dress form, as well as almost making her pass out. Now it's time to use that dress form to make Wonder Woman's bodice. The first thing I did was wrap the whole body in cling wrap. It's very important not to stretch the cling wrap tightly, or when you go to take it off, it's going to want to shrink back to its original state and basically mess everything up. With the cling wrap done, I did another layer using clear packing tape. I actually really like using the brown plastic packing tape for this, but I couldn't find any in any of the stores that I went to. It just makes it a lot easier to see where you've taped and where you still need to tape. Tell me what you're doing, Chris. I'm trying to draw a design onto a body. It's your body, my design. I've got the uh, Wonder Woman thing there vaguely. I kind of wanted to keep it sort of vaguely eagle-esque, so I'm adding um, a winglet <laughs> around the bosom. Now I'm drawing on it with a permanent marker, which I have had to erase a whole bunch of times, which you can do with some um, alcohol. <clears throat> Rub it off like that. Originally, we were gonna do like a diagonal that went across like this, and then one like this, except for the problem was then we couldn't get sort of this Wonder Woman eagle thing on the top, which both Lorinda and I felt was kind of fairly important, but we still want to have a shoulder strap here. And so the question is, how do we get that shoulder strap so it looks like it's an integrated part of this and not just like someone just glued a shoulder strap on to Wonder Woman because her top was falling down. We should line the inside with something. What? For your comfort. <laughs> Bear fur. I actually can't use this. I need to actually make the actual foam bodice first because that's going to go underneath. All these parts are actually going to be applique on top of the bodice. So I really actually need to take this off and make the bodice and then put tape over that because it'll be thicker because it's made of foam and so it'll be slightly different dimensions. So I think I'm gonna just erase all this. I'm gonna remember it here. Look at it really closely so you guys can tell me what it looks like when I come back to redraw it. So here we go, erasing. Use rubbing alcohol. Don't use other types of alcohol. Okay, so once everything was erased again, I drew marks on the tape, dividing the bodice into panels. These panels allow me to take a three-dimensional form and divide it up into smaller pieces, which then can be cut from a flat sheet of foam, which can then be glued back together to recreate the original three-dimensional form. So the good thing about having one dummy is you can do half of a pattern on one side and half on the other side, because you're gonna flip it anyways. So you get to try two different things on one go. So that's kind of handy. Once I was happy with how I had divided the bodice up into sections, I made alignment marks crossing every line and labeled both sides of the line with the same letter. These marks will be extremely helpful for realigning the pieces once I've got them cut out of foam. That's why they're called alignment marks. As it turns out, I drew more alignment marks than there are letters of the alphabet, so I had to use a bit of imagination. I numbered each piece for easy reference, and then cut the tape off the dummy, right down the center line. If everything goes as planned, once they're cut apart, all my pieces should be able to lay out pretty much flat. See how when, see this can't go flat yet without being a little crinkly, that's why it needs to be cut down here. This piece, which was there, can now go totally flat. Now those can go pretty flat. Okay, my tape pattern's all ready to go. You can see if you look at this, that some strips, there's a big gap side by side when you put the pattern pieces together. And that's because there's a large contour going there. And so when you put them together, it creates that contour. There's these strips at the front have almost identical contours. So that really means I, I really didn't need a seam there because it's not gonna make any difference having one. Well, it may make a little tiny bit of difference and I'll probably put one in there anyway so that I can adjust it if I need to. But when you're making a pattern, if you get things that actually fit, 
exactly together. Just make them one piece. What are you doing? I'm making, making... I'm making a pattern for mom. Oh. See, that's gonna, we're gonna trace that on a piece of paper. Yeah. And then that's gonna be like yeah. the part, sort of like a dress. Yeah. Ooh. And that's gonna be tied. That's gonna be cool? Yeah, it's gonna be tied. Are these things gonna go on paper? Yeah, I'm gonna trace them on a piece of paper. Can I see? There's our pieces now. All we gotta do is what, Isabel? What? Trace them on some paper. Yeah. And then cut them out yeah. with some yeah. scissors. Yeah. Do you wanna cut them or should I? You, you should. Okay. I'm gonna mm -hmm. just to do really lightly along the side of this with my pencil. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. gonna make a mark on the paper. Mm -hmm. But I don't want it to move while I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. And I wanna mark these marks too the A. Right. You didn't make those letters? Yeah. Oh. What letters should I make? Maybe we an should. L? Yeah. We should. Make and one. maybe an M? Yeah. yeah. An M? And an N? And an N! What's an N? That's an N. Oh. Have a little Yep. How's that been? Good. We're filming together. Okay. Yeah. High five. Thanks for helping. Have fun making lunch. Yeah. Once the pattern was made, I cut the pieces from 5mm foam and glued them all together to create the bodice. Happily, the bodice fit perfectly on my duct tape dummy. That means I did things right. I used a couple drops of hot glue on the back seam of the bodice to hold it in place on the dummy while I worked. I then rewrapped the whole thing with cling wrap and tape, redrew my fancy pattern that I had drawn the first time, and cut the pattern off again. Kind of feels like I'm doing surgery with an old pair of scissors. I wanted it to look like there were gaps between each strip of armor, so I'm cutting off the little bit of the edge on each side. This is not what I wanted to have happen. I think because I used this plastic wrap, which is thin and really quite stretchy, what's happened is once I've taken it off because I stretched it around the body, then now it's trying to shrink itself again, which is pulling these pattern pieces smaller. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling off carefully all the cling wrap from the inside of this and then just to the bare tape and then taping it down onto a piece of paper so that it holds its appropriate size. After that extremely tedious process, I was able to actually trace the patterns onto the foam. I used some painter's tape to make some little loops so I could temporarily place the strips into position before gluing them. Then I worked my way along gluing them down while removing the tape as I went. It's 12.15 in the morning and I've just finished gluing all these foam strips on and that's a lot of work. But it looks really cool. Okay, as you can see, I found some brown tape this time at the dollar store and I'm using the old cling wrap and tape trick for the third time to make the belt and the eagle patterns. Right now I'm designing the belt for Wonder Woman. It's different than the one in the movie because I don't want this just exactly the same bodice as the movie, even though it is still pretty really similar but I want it to be different enough so it looks like it's intentionally different and not just like I did a really bad job trying to copy it you know what I mean so anyways I've covered this with some brown tape so I can draw it on I've actually already cut out this section because I drew my kind of what I wanted on there and then I cut it out and then I put it on my computer and made it a digital so now it's a digital belt I've got this top part which is again similar to in the movie but I've also made it more eagle like because I got wings going down the side there. So I've got lots of different lines that I've got to kind of figure out what levels they're going to be at because I don't want everything flat so there'll be a few layers of foam built up to make different dimensionality. And I just spilt my tea. The belt was pretty straightforward to make. It was made from three different layers of foam stacked up on top of each other. A handy little tip is to use an old gift card for making grooves in the foam. The next step, if I'm happy with my belt, is I'm going to cut this out of the tape, probably put it in my computer so that I can print it out because I'm going to need it a few different times for the different pieces. And plus then I have it in the future, so. Boom. There it is. I glued the wing pieces together so they partially overlapped each other, which gave it a great three-dimensional effect without it ending up too thick in the end. Got my eagle. Caw, caw. The trickiest part was figuring out sort of what levels to do the different layers of foam because I didn't want just flat foam so I had to make it sort of tiered 
Uh, but I think it turned out good. I like it. See, you got the W there. You got the eagle with the feathers and you got the star in the middle. So it's a, it's kind of everything. It's everything. Wow. That looks amazing. Cool, eh? Yeah. I love this part. That looks really amazing. Miranda thinks it looks amazing. It's a nice camera. I wasn't even looking. It's there. It'll be red. <laughs> like red. Sort of sort of red. And then... And then this will be gold. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll do some... I'm not sure, but mostly gold. Yeah. Sometimes I think putting all of this effort into this costume, I'd better wear it a few times. <laughs> this is what I, I do every single I day. Know, I, I know. I always put is. all this much effort into everything. So much I do. effort into it. And it's, but like, it's and because then it looks so incredible, and then. But I'm not. It's it's because it's also helpful for other people to see how it's done. This isn't just for you to have a costume for it every isn't? day. Yeah. I it's guess that's why we're recording. The world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> costume competition? It's not a competition. Oh. Good. Because I would win. Smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> Put down the dummy. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? I, I've got a good. Are you, are you nervous? No, you I'm just like, I'm I got, want to get back to work oh. on it. Do you realize it's like really late and it's time to go to bed? Well, I'm going to bed. Beans, I'm going to so. go to bed too. See you later. Good night. YouTube. Okay, so after I had a nice refreshing sleep, I grabbed a sheet of thin plastic and stuck it between the bodice and the duct tape dummy. I was then able to cut the excess foam from around the eagle and the belt without destroying my beautiful dummy. I then checked the fit on my beautiful wife and it fit her perfectly. It looks super cool, really. It's right, like it's that's totally right closed. up to the line closed. Okay. Would you want it any tighter than that? No. Okay. I decided to close the back with Velcro, which I sewed onto a strip of fabric to increase the surface area for when I glued it onto the bodice. I used contact cement for this because I really wanted to make sure that Velcro did not come off. You may notice a slit in the gray strip of fabric. I needed to cut it there to allow it to conform to the bodice shape. And I think that's pretty much it for the basic bodice. Join me next week as I show you how I made the pauldron, and maybe I'll even show you how I painted it. Thanks for watching, see ya! All right, we're doing it. Photo shoot. Woo! This is my helper. What we should do is get out the the fan for the blowing hair. Okay, in comes the fan, <laughs> which you may know from such things as bouncy castles. Bouncy castles. Ha ha ha!